This 90s TV character is undoubtedly a style icon. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best carry looks from Sex and the City. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most iconic outfits worn by consummate fashionista Carrie Bradshaw. Number 10. Last Date in NYC with Big Hello, lover. Oh, I am needing those for my last big night on the town. Hello, lover. Carrie uttered this memorable phrase when spotting this incredible pair of pink Christian Louboutin shoes in a shop window, and we knew as well as she did that she just had to have them. I can't believe you actually talked me into this. Carrie got all dolled up for a night on the town with Mr. Big after he announced that he'd be leaving New York to move to Napa Valley, California. So what are you going to do out there in Napa besides watch grapes shrivel? The cascading ruffles on the shoes make them the centerpiece of the outfit and also the cause of one of the show's greatest fashion gags. When Carrie rushes to help Miranda when she's in labor, her water breaks all over them. And thus, with a destroyed <gasps> pair of Christian Louboutins, began Miranda's delivery. Number 9. Dolce & Gabbana At the beginning of the show's fourth season, Carrie is asked to take part in a major fashion show as one of the celebrity guests. Dolce & Gabbana picked me? She learns that she'll be wearing Dolce & Gabbana and is unsurprisingly over the moon. At the fitting, she dons a knockout floor-length body-conscious gown that looks perfect on her. Well, almost. Walk, club. Walk. The bold floral pattern and slinky silhouette look flawless, but tragically, the designers decide she doesn't quite have the height to go with the dress, so they dig up a blue sequin number and give the gown to Heidi Klum instead. Oh, that was bad. I'm sorry, I'm very uncomfortable having my photograph taken. Number 8. White Engagement That's a very good look for you. I think we both look kind of sharp tonight. The symbolism is clear with this bridal-looking gown. Carrie and Aiden have recently become engaged, but fans were able to see Carrie's resistance and trepidation every step of the way. Let's get married tonight. Uh -huh. Come on, you got this beautiful white dress on. I got this tux for another 13 hours. Let's just do it. It all culminates at a black and white ball when Aiden pushes Carrie for answers on why she isn't ready to commit to him. The imagery in the scene shows what the two of them would have looked like had they actually ended up walking down the aisle together, rather than breaking up in this moment. What are we waiting for? Because I need more time. Sad context be damned, though. The strapless Badgley Mishka dress is stunning and is clearly outside of Carrie's typical wardrobe. This isn't about you. I'm not ready for marriage. Number seven. In Vogue. I had a new do, a new mortgage, and therefore a new job. In season four, Carrie is asked to write a column for Vogue, and of course she accepts without hesitation. Her editor Enid, however, is not as impressed with Carrie's work as she would like. There it was, the article I'd put my heart and soul into, and it was bleeding. When she goes on a visit to the Condé Nast offices, Carrie gets a chance to don a more professional outfit than we're used to seeing her in. I was trying to find a way to introduce the bags and the bracelets with a little humor. Kind of, men are the new black. Because she typically works from her apartment, office wear is not something she wears much of. But this ensemble looks sharp and stylish all at the same time. Cookies drunk. I'm drunk at Vogue. Number six, wedding guest. Things with Big were good. He was actually going with me to a wedding. Near the beginning of Carrie and Big's relationship, the pair is invited to a wedding together for the first time. Where's Big? Inside, looking bored. Hey, that's my look. Carrie is asked to prepare a reading for the happy couple and becomes frustrated when Big takes a phone call at the worst possible time. And suddenly it hit me. Two people were committing to a life together and I couldn't even get a guy to be on a card with me. None of this bodes well for them as a couple, but the real focus here should be the incredible dress Carrie wore for the occasion. It's romantic and strapless with a cutaway front that makes it quite the sexy pick for someone else's big day. But hey, we wouldn't still be talking about Carrie's fashion if she'd played it safe. She was a question to be answered. And his answer was, I do. Number five, fashion roadkill. 
After being denied the chance to walk down the runway in that amazing floral Dolce & Gabbana number, Carrie's given an outfit change that shocks her as much as the audience. Oh, tell me the truth. I know people don't mean it when they say that, but I do. Oh, honey. You're a model. This ensemble is much more daring, featuring a long blue trench coat, a bralette, and a pair of sparkling undies to complete the look. In terms of memorable outfits, this one will not soon be forgotten, especially considering Carrie trips and falls and is turned into fashion roadkill while wearing it. Thankfully, Carrie manages to not only pick herself up, but also to smile through it. And that's just what I did. Because when real people fall down in life, they get right back up and keep on walking. Number 4. The Tutu During the run of the HBO show, Carrie doesn't actually wear this item in a single episode, and yet it might be the most emblematic article of clothing she owns. The ballet-style tutu that appears in the show's intro sequence is a perfect representation of Carrie's fun and irreverent fashion sense. Costume designer Patricia Field says she found the skirt on sale for only a few dollars and had to have it on the show. In the 2008 follow-up movie, Carrie is seen cleaning out her closet and the tutu makes an appearance, being put solidly in the keep pile. Number 3. The Newspaper Dress Carrie is not typically one for an outfit repeat, but this dress designed by John Galliano for Dior made it into Sex in the City on two separate occasions. Not wanting to come back in my next life as a dung beetle, I asked Samantha's assistant to pump Natasha's assistant to find out where she was having lunch. The first time is in the show's third season when Carrie runs into Natasha after getting caught having an affair with Big. I never, never meant for any of this to happen, and if there was something that I could do to take it all away, I would. The dress makes a return in the second movie, Sex and the City 2, released in 2010. The newspaper style is quirky and distinct, but is in perfect company with many of the other looks Carrie tried over the years that were a little out there. Thank you. Hey. I missed you. I missed you. Number 2. The Millefeuille Dress Carrie's eccentric New York style is always front and center, but she kicks it up a notch in the final two episodes when she goes to Paris. Everything she wears here is stunning, from the outfit she arrives in to the final dress she wears when she finally kisses Big. The thigh-high boots she wears when she falls at Dior and the polka dot dress when she's wandering around Paris are also standouts. The creme de la creme, however, is the hugely elaborate Millefeuille Versace dress that fans out around her when Petrovsky is late to meet her. The gown is Patricia Field's favorite piece from the show, and we suspect she's not alone. You look like dessert. <laughs> That's Andrea Milfoy. Milfoy. A thousand layers. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. That night, I decided to interrupt Guy's night to give Aiden a quick thank you for helping Miranda kiss. Your girl is lovely, Helen. I don't get it. And you never did. Hello, you. Hello, you. <sighs> Number 1. The Fur Coat Against steep competition and the personal choice of the Sex and the City costume designer, we've got to go with this glamorous look. The one piece that ties a thread between all of Carrie's fashion choices is the oversized fur coat that she wears in Season 1, Season 6, and the first movie. Thanks. It shows just how over-the-top extravagant Carrie can be, and yet manages to create a totally different look each time she wears it. When she puts it on in the show's final episode when she returns to New York, it's symbolic of the fact that the old Carrie is back. But the most exciting, challenging, and significant relationship of all is the one you have with yourself. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.